Here's Amy Green with your entertainment report. So John Malkovich is now being deemed as a real-life hero after helping a severely injured tourist in Canada. 77-year-old Ohio resident Jim Walpaul and his wife were visiting Toronto last week when he accidentally tripped and fell, gashing his throat on scaffolding outside their hotel. Malkovich, who was appearing at a theater nearby, saw Walpaul bleeding and immediately came to his aid, putting pressure on the wound until medics arrived. Walpaul says he didn't recognize the actor at first but now praises Malkovich for saving his life. Well, you either love him or you hate him, but Kanye West did have some surprises for fans on the last night of New York's Governor's Ball. The headliner took the opportunity last night to debut some new tracks from his upcoming album. West sprinkled in five new songs in his set that will appear on his sixth album titled Yeezus, due out on June 18th. The darker vibe of the track seemed to win the crowd over, but nothing compared to the fans' reactions to his ever-popular singles like Stronger and Good Life. And a late happy birthday to Kanye. He turned 36 on Saturday. And finally, hobbits and dragons and elves, oh my! Seems these fictional creatures are what's luring tourists to New Zealand as fans await their first glimpse of the second movie in the Hobbit trilogy. New figures released by Tourism New Zealand show that over 8% of visitors to the South Pacific nation named the Hobbit as a reason for vacationing there, and about 13% have actually taken part in some sort of Hobbit-themed tourism, like visiting a film set. It's pretty cool. Warner Brothers is actually releasing the first teaser trailer of the Hobbit Hobbit, the Desolation of Smog at 1 p.m. tomorrow. The movie is set to hit theaters this December. For Fios One News, I'm Amy Green.